All right, well, here we go. We are finally working on one of our little back burner projects here on Mr. Brian's Basic World. One of being the snowmobile that's sitting here, you know, the track's at least up, not being rotted, ready to go in winter time maybe. This golf cart we have to do some work on, you know, the Baja bug we want to get going, the Jeep we want to get going. All these things need work, but you can only do so much. However, we're coming up with an event and we could really use this golf cart. So it's about time we fire this thing up and get it going. The other day, I put some fuel in it, charged the battery, and I got it to run. And the problem with it was, is this clutch, secondary clutch here, was just totally shot. And is you could just see it inside was kind of looking like this. It's like, well, obviously there was the problem. So what I did was I decided to order a new one and fix this problem once and for all. So what we have now is our new secondary clutch. Here's our sheave for it on the one side. And these are tapered. Ooh, that fancy thing. There's the spring. There's our other sheave here. Oh wow, this other one probably doesn't even have any of that left inside of it because bits and pieces came out when I took it apart. All right, I'll figure out how that all goes together. That'll be fun. And we have our new helix here. Yeah, this one doesn't even have that. And that was the first sign. Well, I guess they're still on there, but the spring was broken. Um, yeah, somewhat. Well, this one's pretty worn and shot, so that never would have slid correctly. It would have grabbed and held it on the gear without really shifting smoothly. Maybe if you got the engine to rev correct hard enough, it would actually slide over that, but that would have caused a lot of drag and definitely slowed this machine down. The broken spring alone, it wouldn't even work. But uh, the rest of this, it doesn't look like this was greased in quite some time. These don't look too bad, but the hole inside here is shot. That spring came out of there or the retaining clip. But hopefully this all works. And let's see where we are in here. When we dig into this, let me move this seat out of here so we can see a little bit better. Just wait for a second. Now this is a G4, this golf cart. It's a 1995 model. And it's gas powered. You know, you hit the gas, it fires up and goes when the battery's working. But this is where the secondary clutch was on here. We have the nut and washer. Good thing we saved that. So, what we'll do is we'll start assembling this and put it together and take it from there. It's really not that hard. I mean, we have to put the helix on there and uh, kind of guess how the rest of this goes. We have this side has to go against the helix. Let's see if you can see in here as I'm doing this. It's a little tricky to film and put it together at the same time. No, I got to get the spring in there. The spring has to go in there first. Yeah, let me get this together a little bit. I'll show you in a second how it's supposed to go. But uh, follow. Okay, I found something very technical I want to share with you. Uh, while putting this little helix together, I noticed it had a set of numbers. One, two, three, and four. Now, this spring has different spots that you could put this in depending on what this clutch needs to do. So, luckily, the old one, even though it had broken... It shows me that this one was part of number three. So I at least know that I need to be in number three on this side. So we'll hook that with number three. Now, the other side of this has A, B, and C marked on there. If you match that up to the old clutch, you can see that the spring ran in what would be over here between A and B. So with this particular model, that's where you need to be. Maybe that'll help you. That could be the, your final answer. I know if you're trying to look that up, good luck. But uh, hopefully that helps. And I guess I have to punch a hole in there. It is, there's three holes here. Just need to finish drilling it out, I suppose. But hopefully that helps. Okay, well, we got our uh, golf cart back together here and our new clutch in there. And as you can see, this one actually will work. And you can see how it slides on the helix and everything right there. Pretty neat. Mount shaft and well. Now you can see how that works. It slides up and down on the, the belt and the seat right here. This clutch here moves up and down on that as well as you come to a stop and then start over again. As long as you can get your clutches working. This thing ought to work pretty well now. Kind of excited. I mean, 
Our old clunky golf cart is up and running. We can't wait to play with this thing. So hopefully that was a little bit of help for you. And I mean, well, these clutches were shot that were in there and you can see it tore the whole inside of that apart. And a simple little upgrade. It was very tricky to actually get this together in here. What I ended up doing was I put it all together and put this one side on there. And then I used a big bar, this steel bar that I have here, wedged that down here and held this one over so we could slide this all the way over. Then I was able to put the belt on and then wedge the belt with this other sheave. Actually, before that, I used this ball joint splitter. Once I had this first one in there, I wedged this in and against here, once you open this, and it kept kind of like that. And what that did is that kept that first one from sliding back over on me. Then I was able to put the belt and this one on and then press it all over with the big bar and get the nut started. Once I got the nut started, I was able to re-square everything, push it all over, readjust everything, push it over until I could get it tightened up. I'm sure they make a uh, clutch installation tool, which would probably make this a whole lot easier. However, you know, it's a little golf cart. We didn't even know it was going to work. I didn't want to put any money, more money into it than I needed. So... Now that it's going, things are going pretty well. We're going to paint it up and get it all ready to go. And, well, follow along. I'm sure we'll make some stupid videos with this thing. And uh, that's kind of the idea of all this. So, hope you have a great day. Make sure to like and subscribe. Mr. Brian's Amazing World. We have some really amazing stuff going on. And uh, check out all our other videos. Thanks.